there she is in her pretty sweater again. She sits out here with me. It's not that warm out yet this morning. Hey everyone. Well, today I, it's a beautiful day. Can you see? A little bit of clouds, but it's still pretty nice out. And I'm out here in my backyard, in my work area. And working on some, uh, some pods. Let me, um, I'll turn this around and see if I can show you guys. There you go. I don't know. That's not really good. There you go. <laughs> I was going to talk to you guys about, um, about the name of this podcast or sort of the namesake of this podcast, Joy. I was going to talk to you about Joy. And, um, it occurs to me that it's not a hugely joyful time for a lot of people. Uh, just coming out of COVID and huh, the other side of the world, there's a totally unnecessary and deadly war going on. It's not really happy for a lot of people. So I hope you can forgive me because I do still want to talk about it. I think what I wanted to say there was that while it's not a good time, maybe in history, to be talking about joy, maybe not appropriate, it is appropriate in the scheme of this blog. And I also want to say that if you don't feel it's appropriate at this time, please don't watch. Wait until you do feel it's time to watch. And then, um, yeah, please come back and, and watch and see how you can find joy for yourself as well. That, that's, I think that's what I wanted to say there. <laughs> back to regular programming. Cue the voiceover. Three, two, one. Ah, uh, so why did I call this vlog slash podcast Take This Joy? Because I think it's part of my service to humanity is to give people my joy. And the ways that I do that are through my artwork, through this content, by generally caring about people in my coaching, being a friend and a volunteer. So why is it my purpose? I'm not sure. I I don't know. I just really feel called. I I I thought about it so much. And it's just there. It's just one of those. I don't know. Anyway, I feel called. We'll leave it at that. But, okay, so also, giving joy creates joy in me. So all of the things that I just listed above, you know, my artwork, my content, caring, coaching, blah, blah, blah. Well, they give me joy. So giving you joy gives me joy. <laughs> it's a little selfish after all. <laughs> yeah, well. Because so I think, um, I feel like it's what the world needs right now. And... That and the realization, realization that we are all connected. Mm, You're going to probably hear that from me a lot too. We're all connected. And it's funny because once I realized that was kind of a big thing to me, I started seeing it and hearing it everywhere. And everybody, all the people I listen to the podcast, um, even the artists. Anyway, um, we're all connected. So that's... Um, I don't know. Anyway, I guess that's not as much about joy, but so how do we get joy? I've got six ways. So first of all, I think find happy people. Find happy people. Try to be around happy people. Because joy is catching. Actually all emotions are catching. If you're around negative people all the time, you're gonna be you're gonna be negative. You're gonna be it's so easy to get caught up in the idea that this is acting normal when you're around certain people. Um, if you're around angry people, you become angry. 
<laughs> and I'd rather do it the other way. So be around happy people. Kill yourself with um, with that kind of virus. Also, so we can create it in our own lives. Num number two, um, you can use something called the thought ladder. It's and it's really it's just um, it's a way of getting from the bottom rung to the top rung. When you're not necessarily happy, but you have a goal of being happy. So this works for other things. It's not just joy, but it's it's a it's a process that you can use. You start off saying, okay, well, the top rung is I'm happy, I'm joyful, I, I live my life with joy. And the bottom rung is where I'm at right now is I want to be happy. <laughs> I'm not yet, but I want to be. And so that's the first step. The next step is usually, um, and, and subsequent steps will be as well, questions. How, how can I be happier? How can I bring more joy into my life? So that's the, maybe the next step. And the step after that might be, I'm not sure how yet, but I'm willing to be happy. I'm willing to let joy in. And the next step after that is, I'm finding ways to be happy. And you actually look for those ways and you find them. And it goes on from there. And so you, you, you build that thought ladder and you're just consciously thinking, what's the next step in the, what's the next rung in this, in this ladder? What's the next rung? How can I get from the bottom up to the top? It's just a way of, of building on your experience and creating something new. Anyway, okay, moving on. You can discover your purpose and follow it. I find a lot of joy in my purpose, all those things that are my purpose. I mean, the service is my purpose, but it's also my artwork, my coaching, being a friend, being a volunteer. Those are my purpose. And because I let myself work within that purpose, I feel like I have a lot of joy. The next one, number four, I believe, is so simple. Just do the things that make you happy. <laughs> like, just do the thing. Like, you like to dance. Go dance. Even, I mean, if go in your basement and turn, close all the curtains and just crank it up. Do it. Dance. Do the things that make you happy. Find the things if you don't know what it is. Find something. And number five is it's kind of the same. It's finding ways to serve other people actually makes us happy. It's, there's been studies done. And really, in the end, I think that's part of our all of our purpose is to find ways to serve. But so that's everybody's purpose. But you have your own individual way of serving. And when you find that, then your service can bring you joy. And the last thing I want to do is it's a little exercise that I call sparking joy. So if you want to try this, I'd, I'd love it if you would try it and then leave me a comment in the section below. So just let me know how it went. If it worked for you, if it didn't work for you, maybe why. So throughout the next week, just try to catch yourself doing or catch yourself when little things bring you pleasure. You might decide that you really like that new color that Toyota has come out with in their in its uh, new line of electric vehicles. <laughs> you might smell some really tantalizing food or you're really lucky you get to eat said food. Person in the grocery store smiles on you, uh, smiles at you. Sorry. You have an encounter with a friendly pooch on the trail. The color of the sunshine hits your yard in just such a way in the morning or in the evening, in the golden hour. It could be almost anything and hopefully many things. The point here is that when you feel this little spark of pleasure, if you can, stop. Just take a moment to be with that pleasure and drink it in. Take a deep breath and notice how your body is feeling. Just enjoy it. And then do this as many times as you can, as many, as many times as you have moments, little moments of pleasure. They can be such small things. Don't make them have to be big things. Make them small things. Over the next week, you might start to feel a shift in your mood. You might have an, a better ability to deal with some of the crazy things in your life. If you keep doing, doing it over a month, surely you'll start to look at things just a little bit differently. Yeah, so that's my challenge. If, if, if you so desire, please let me know how it goes. No, now, two disclaimers. If you're resistant, if you're resistant to these ideas, resistance is often uh, a way of ourselves, our higher self, our 
subconscious or whatever, our soul, trying to signal to us that th there's some work we need to do. And our thoughts or emotions, there might be something stuck in our psyche that needs to be cleared or looked at and embraced or reintegrated into yourself. Um, something that you've been denying about yourself, something you don't like about yourself. You try to ignore it, but you can't let go. Or you just have this negative voice. Anyway, just just saying that can be hard. And if if you're in that position where you're resisting a professional, a therapist, a life coach, something might help you in this regard. Also, okay, and second disclaimer is there are times in our lives that we cannot be joyful. There are times in our lives, every life has it, and it's normal. We, we have pain. There's just no two ways about it. We go through those things. And it's not a good thing to say, I'm going to try to be joyful through my pain. It's not a good thing to stuff it down. It's not a good thing because it'll come back to bite you in the ass. <laughs> That's all I can say. It will come back. I guess it's kind of part of what I was just talking about is when you deny your pain, you're denying a part of yourself. But your pain is there for a reason. And it's better to go through that pain and to take care of yourself. Fight for yourself. Love yourself. Love yourself. And if you can't love yourself, find a way, find someone that can help you learn to love yourself. It's so important. Anyway, I am so lucky that I get to be here with you guys. <laughs> and I hope you're having a good week. I hope you are feeling okay with all the turmoil in the world. I apologize that I'm talking about joy in the midst of this madness. But... um that's what this podcast is about in some respect, sharing myself, sharing my joy with you. I'm going to sign off now, but in the meantime, take this joy. I love you all. Bye for now. I see all these things today. The otter, the raven, the sea lions. That's crazy. Just crazy. And they're gone. What will be next in this day?